Hi there, I am checking in with a reading for all signs for the month of April and ready to see what April uh, has in store for all the signs. I'm going to be working with my messages from the Mermaids Oracle deck. A message for Capricorn, please, mermaids. Oh! <laughs> discernment. This is a good one, isn't it? So, discernment, Capricorn. What's going on in your life right now that you could be a little bit more discerning about? Using discernment, it's not like a judgment. It's like really trusting your gut feeling, your instinct, your first initial reaction to anything that happens. It's usually the correct response, the correct reaction. And using discernment in regards to other people, situations, anything at all within your life. So before you dive into any particular situation, which on the surface might look fantastic or maybe too good to be true, you don't know. It might be true, it might be right, but tune into your discernment just to have that kind of extra security blanket, if you like, so that you know, hang on, I'm going to check in and see what this feels like. And as I said, this can be in relation to any person or situation, any circumstance that's going on for you in your life discernment is the key word for this month so look for situations as they arise and just take a little bit of extra time when you're weighing things up when you're sizing things up before you kind of dive on into any new scenarios that might come up for you this month but it feels like it's going to be a very fun month and certainly some unexpected surprises are coming in this is where your discernment will come in very very handy indeed a message for Taurus, please, mermaids. Oh, there you go. Letting go. Okay, Taurus. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Like, Taurians do find it hard in general to let go but in this month of April this is the key message this is the key word this is the mermaid coming in and saying let go and let life flow again it's almost like um, I'm seeing like a, a dam you know like what um, beavers build dams and it's all building up and it's all building up but when you just let go and let it all flood through let your emotions flow just let it go you'll find that everything starts flowing in a really beautiful way for you again this April now perhaps you're holding on to something that's been really dear to your heart it's something that maybe you thought you wanted but you know now it's not right for you and and that can be hard to admit to yourself but when you let go you really are leaving a beautiful space in your life for the universe to come and fill it with something or someone that is more suitable for you and this can be hard as I've said but when you let go you really will be rewarded and just trust trust in your path in your future in your destiny and know that everything is playing out exactly as it's supposed to let go and let love let love lead you and let go and let love and when I say let love lead you this is the inner love your inner love the love for yourself that demands and commands respect from others so don't accept anything less let go move on and enjoy your beautiful destiny that is going to unfold for you and it's all starting right now in April a message for Virgo please mermaids oh dreaming. So Virgo, April is the month for dreaming, for manifesting your dreams as well. We've got a lot of passionate, fiery energy in this month and so this is the perfect time or the perfect time for you to manifest those dreams. 
get dreaming, get putting your dreams into action, start manifesting your dreams into this human earthly realm. You can do it, even if it seems or feels like a huge task, like a mammoth task, you've totally got the ability to do this, to manifest your dreams. And you can just start by simply writing them down on a piece of paper. That is the first stage in manifestation because what you're doing is you're thinking it and it's coming through your hand into the pen onto the paper, therefore it exists. It's very simple because it is very simple. It's not as hard as you might think it is. So really focus on bringing your dreams into this reality during this month of April where there's an extra energy around you that will help you to do this. It could also mean that maybe you're daydreaming a little bit too much and it's fine to daydream. It's fun to daydream, isn't it? But make sure that you've got the balance between being grounded and going about your daily chores and your daily life and the balance between daydreaming. This is also telling you to pay heed to your dreaming at night time and they can often just disappear as you wake up. So make sure that you're keeping a dream journal and a pen by the side of your bed. I wish you a wonderful April with lots of dreaming and I will see you next month. Take care, Virgo. A message for Aries, please, mermaids. Ooh. Mystery. Oh, this is exciting, Aries. The month of April is going to be filled with mystery and mysterious things happening, but in a good way. And um, mystery is quite enticing, isn't it? It can kind of lead us down different paths. And I feel like it would be really good if you're open to new things coming into your life this April. I feel like things are really going to shift and there's going to be some doors opening that were previously unopened and also you didn't even know existed. So this is super exciting and a little bit mysterious. So it's about being receptive and open to the newness coming in, to the mystery of life. You do not have to analyse everything. You don't know how, you don't have to know how the inner workings of everything works. It's about really accepting and trusting in the beautiful mystery of life and just knowing that this divine mystery is has your best interests at heart so as it unfolds just flow with it always check in check in with your gut check in with your instinct to make sure that it's right for you but usually the divine never lets us down in fact the divine never lets us down it's about our minds kind of covering our intuition on occasions so be mindful that this isn't happening and that you're opening to the flow of life you're trusting in the mystery whilst also checking in with your intuition and I think you're going to have a fun month actually. Um, I will see you next month. A message for Leo please, mermaids. Oh, straight away. Mystery. Well, we've just had the mystery card, but this mysterious card wanted to come out again. This mysterious mermaid. So, Leo, it looks like April is going to be full of mystery for you. Mystery in the sense of it's the unknown. It's things that you can't actually know. You just have to allow everything to unfold in a natural way way in divine timing some things are just not meant to be known and so it might be better just to stop peeking around those doors stop kind of looking on the social media stop checking up on things that are really out of your control because ultimately nothing is in your control nothing is in any of our controls so it's about surrendering to the divine and trusting in the beautiful magical mystery of life and allowing life to show you the lessons, taking them on board and really trusting this and learning from them most importantly because we can keep repeating the same lessons over and over again. And 
it's not fun actually when that keeps happening. So surrender to the divine, trust in the mystery of your life Leo and this April can be a very interesting month for you as long as you trust in the process and trust as things are unfolding and where your life is leading you. Don't push into the mystery, don't try to find out things that are not meant to be known, just allow it to unfold and everything will eventually come to light for you, Leo. A message for Sagittarius mermaids. Another flying one. Oh, we have hope. That's so beautiful, Sagittarius. The card of hope, the mermaid of hope, is swimming into your reading today for the month of April. So this tells me, Sagittarius, that whatever's going on for you in your life in this month, just keep that hope in your heart. Now, this mermaid is facing forwards and yet behind her are all the signs of hope. There's a ship behind her, there's a rainbow behind her, there's a storm, but the sun is coming out and her ship is going to come in. Your ship is going to come in, in whatever form that takes. For you, you'll know what this is. Just surrender to the flow of life and keep this beautiful hope in your heart. Hope will always keep you going. It's almost like it's the fuel to your ship. It's the oar to your boat. Hope will keep you going. So always keep this in your heart, no matter what's going on around you, especially during this month of April. Trust in the process. Trust in your divine flow. Keep hope in your heart. Your ship will and is coming in and there are rainbows all around you. You just have to open your eyes and see them. So maybe turn around and look in a different direction. Look in a different direction that you haven't looked in before. Obviously, it's a different direction. And just see what happens. You might like the view. You might like to take a different landscape. You might enjoy the vista that you're seeing and think, you know what, I'm gonna explore this. Keep hope in your heart, all is well. A message for Libra. Oh, ask for help. Oh, we've got two cards here actually. Oh, we've got the future and ask for help. That's good. So ask for help. Are you in a position where you feel like you need help, but you're a little bit apprehensive, um, tentative to reach out and ask for help? Even mermaids have to ask for help. Even fairies have to ask their angels for help. And it's a matter of asking an angel or an earth angel, a human, anyone that you feel can come in to assist you at this time. Now, it's okay to ask for help and most people are quite happy to offer a helping hand, whether it's a little thing or perhaps a bit more challenging of a situation. And also it could be that you are the one who is going to be offering a helping hand, offering to reach out to someone who needs, who you can see might be struggling a little bit and your assistance would be gratefully appreciated and received. So take this on board. And the other card we have is the future. Now, the future is not set in stone. Yes, there are predestined things that are destined to happen, if you like, during our lives. But we are actually, we do have some control over the future. And how we impact this is from this present moment. So right now, how you're feeling, what you're thinking, how you're acting, how you're behaving, all of these things will literally have a ripple effect onto your future and not just your own future, but those who are around you. So everyone is impacted by your thoughts and actions and how you behave. So it's a really good idea to be mindful of that. Watch your thoughts, watch your words. Are you speaking truthfully? Are you hiding the truth? Are you 
doing something that you might not feel comfortable about and then when it comes to light it could cause some ripples in your life or in the lives of others so really be mindful about this the future is yours for the taking it's also yours for the making so be mindful of how you create your future from this present moment and also reach out or ask for help if you need it or offer help if you can see someone that might benefit from this. I hope you can take this message. A message for Aquarius, please, mermaids. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, we have the Mermaid of Trust. And Aquarius, this month is all about trusting. And even though we feel like we don't know where our paths are going and it might seem a little bit unclear and uncertain at times, when you have trust in your heart and in your mind, then things just have a habit of leading you to exactly the right place at the right time. And even though it feels like I feel like I'm not going in the right direction or I feel like this isn't what's supposed to be happening. It's about trusting that everything that happens and everything that has happened is exactly as it is supposed to be. And, and this means to really hold on to this feeling of trust in your heart and just know that no matter what is going on around you, trust will always take you to where you need to go. And even though trust can be challenging to trust, to trust, trust, it is something that will, it's kind of, even though it applies to this moment now, it's something that will actually carry you through your entire life when you've got this feeling, this sense of trust within. And no matter what's going on externally, like I've already said, your trust in life will lead you in the right direction and I hope you can take this message Aquarius. A message for Gemini please mermaids. Ooh. Go with the flow, go with the flow this April Gemini. So this really is about kind of getting your mind out of the way and letting your spirit lead the way, going with the flow. Now also this mermaid comes in saying yes it's great to go with the flow but don't forget that salmon swim upstream and I know that's a really random thing to say but sometimes maybe you're going with the flow and you feel a bit like a feather in the wind or a twig on a river and you're kind of at the mercy of everything but remember if you don't like the way this flow is going you can turn around and swim back upstream um, it's not always recommended but you'll know if this is right for you in your particular circumstances Gemini but what I will say is if you can trust in life and surrender to the flow the magical flow in your life you'll find that it takes you exactly where you need to go and it is about letting go and letting the divine lead you if you like or whatever it is that you believe in something kind of a higher force that will guide you will guide your path in this life and when we go with the flow it always takes us to where we need to go and the lessons that we need to learn in life and lessons in life don't have to be challenging they can be joyful lessons we can grow from the joyful lessons too it doesn't always have to be so hard graft if you like it can be a joyful experience so surrender dear gemini particularly in this april month but also in the coming months when you surrender and go with the flow you'll find that it's a much more more pleasurable and enjoyable experience. Until the next time, take care. A message for Pisces, please, mermaids. Oh, straight away. Oh, memories, Pisces. 
and this is really interesting because I have my um, moon is in Pisces and it's all about dreaming and memories and things like this. So memories are very poignant for you at this time during the month of April especially or whenever you're listening to this message Pisces. Memories, there are beautiful memories in your heart, in your mind that you can treasure, that you can bring forward now with just the power of your imagination and it's almost like you can relive them. Now obviously if they're memories that aren't making you feel very great then try not to bring those ones forward and if you can you can just release them with love if they do come forward but the ones that make you feel uplifted, joyful, enthusiastic, positive about life then do enjoy the the feeling of those memories and this mermaid also comes in to say it is time to make some new memories during the month of April especially and all through the year to be honest but in April there will be a kind of extra opportunity for you to embark on creating some more magical memories in your life and maybe you might be the trigger for somebody else's memory. When they see you, it might trigger something that makes them remember something beautiful. So be mindful of this as well. And memories are something that we hold in our heart forever, for our entire life. So hold these memories in your heart and know that you can call on them at any time. And I wish you so much love, light, joy and magical mermaid blessings until the next time. A message for the sign of Scorpio mermaids. Free spirit. Scorpio, you are a free spirit anyway, not just for this month, but all the time. There's this passion in you, Scorpio, and it's a really tangible, beautiful energy. And this ties in perfectly or perfectly with this mermaid who is bringing in the energy of being a free spirit. She says that basically during the month of April, you will feel free and just express that freedom of your spirit in any way that you can, in a creative way, obviously in a safe way, but just um, really allow your free spirit to shine because that is what makes you unique. And the energy of this freedom of spirit is coming in really strongly during this month of April for you. And maybe you felt like, you know what, I'm not feeling very free at the moment. You might be in a country that there's a lockdown or you're feeling restricted with your movements. But our inner spirit, your inner spirit is always free. So just know this and really express it. But I feel like you'll be doing some physical movement during this month, um, either from the middle or the latter end of the month you will feel this freedom of spirit and it might mean that you want to travel somewhere, that you want to do something you've never done before, just anything that, that drives you, that comes from your spirit, from that heart, your passion, your knowing. Um, and Scorpio, I know that you have this passion within you anyway. So to have the opportunity with this extra energy coming in to express this freedom, this free spirit that is within you, to express it is going to be really magical and really beautiful. So I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you next time. A message for Cancer, please. The moon child of the zodiac. Oh, positivity. Yes, yes, yes. Yay, positivity. So this is the stance to take during the month of April. And it might be, I feel like you're in quite a positive space at the moment, as depending on where you are in the world, it's like certainly within the West, it's starting to get warmer and the days are getting longer and the sun is shining a bit more. And this all goes towards making you feel more positive. But also this is about no matter what's going on in your life, you can always find something to be positive about about especially during this month of April so ask yourself initially is my glass half empty or is it half full this is very telling about how your views on life not just the glass so it's really good to have some insight into this and you can really practice being more positive it doesn't always come naturally for everybody but some people it does it seems to come easier to some than others 
but for you this is going to be the perfect month for you to embody to physically embody positivity and when you view things through a positive lens if you like you'll find that more positive things happen it's a little bit like when you count your blessings you'll find that you receive more blessings it's just the way the universe works it's like the law of attraction so positivity breeds positivity you'll attract positive people to you when you emanate this aura of positivity in your life especially during the month of April but actually all year all the time but this month is especially poignant for the positivity vibe so I know you've got this I wish you a wonderful month and I will see you next time take care